In a recent video, I covered a new feature called Azure Resource Parenting for Cost Management. And I got a ton of requests from all of you asking to show how to do this using Azure Policy. So here we go. Here's my Azure Policy doing exactly this and I'm at 100% compliance. All I had to do was add the right tag to the resource group and then use Azure Policy to automate adding it to every child resource. Let's take a look at our policy definitions and click over here to search for inherit a tag. And we've got four results. We could apply this to a subscription or to a resource group. And we can also do this in two different ways, inherit a tag or inherit a tag if missing. So what's the difference? Well, here's both of them side by side and they are almost identical. In the policy rules section, we list all of the requirements for compliance. And because right over there, it says all, you have to meet all the conditions in order to be compliant. So starting on the left side, you need to add a tag name and that name should come from the resource group, which means the resource group has to have the tag and the tag value should not be blank. And over on the right is the, if the tag is missing side. So here the tag name won't exist at all. And it also has a value of can't be blank. And when the policy engine runs, it'll look at all of the resources. And if they're all compliant, you're done. If they're not compliant, we move down to the effects section. And this is where we're going to modify the resources to make them compliant. Now modifying resources requires permissions and you have a role definition ID here that starts with B24988AC. And as you can see here from the Azure docs, this is the Azure contributor role. And in case you don't know, contributors are allowed to build, destroy, modify anything that they want, but they can't change permissions. Next is the operation. On the left side, it's to add or replace. And on the right side, it's only to add because that's the side where it's missing. So which one of these is right for you? Well, if you had tried to use policies to apply tags and things didn't go right, or you have a bunch of tags that you need to change, then you use the one on the left. But if you're just starting from scratch with this particular tag, then you would use the one on the right because the tag is currently missing. Now, once you've picked the policy you want at the top, click the assign button. First thing we need is a scope. So you click that button right over there and then over here, select your subscription. And then you want to select the resource group that we're going to apply this tag to and then click select at the bottom. Now, if the parent resource that we're going to be using here, which is in the case of Azure Virtual Desktop, a host pool, then we're going to need an exclusion because you can't parent a resource to itself. So click the button for exclusions. So click the resources drop down, and then find the resource that's going to be your parent, which in this case is my host pool, and then click to add to the selected scope and click save at the bottom. You can also add a description here if you like, and the enforcement should be set to enabled. Then click next. Type in the tag name, which for us is cm-resource-parent, and then click next. Now, optionally, you can add a step here for remediation. Now, remediation is going to modify your existing resources, so you'll need a managed ID to grant the permissions to execute this through policy automatically. To do this, just check the box to create a remediation task. And we've got two options to pick from, system assigned or user assigned managed ID. Now, either way, you're going to need the same level of contributor permissions to do the job, since we don't know what kind of resources are going to be in the group that we're modifying. So it's up to you which one you pick, but I think system assigned is the way to go. And if you have any questions about what the difference is between the two, put them in the comments and we'll talk about it. Click next. And here you can add a non-compliance message. This makes it really easy to see what went wrong and which policy you should look at. And I'll link to a video right at the end of this so you can see all that in action. When you're done, click the review and create. Now, once the assignment is complete, it'll take the policy engine roughly 30 minutes in order for the assignment to be applied to your scope. Then you can go over here to compliance and you can see how everything's doing. Additionally, you're gonna need about 24 hours before the data is all rolled up into Azure cost analysis so that you can see all of those rolled up total costs. And if you're not exactly sure what I'm talking about, it's because you haven't seen this video yet. So click there and see what you're missing. Or maybe you wanna learn about how you could use policy to enforce things within your environment like tags, 
that'll be in this video right over here. And happy learning.